we are. Hello guys, welcome back to another I Fix It session. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but um, we've changed up a bit. So in front of me, I've got a Nintendo Switch, which I suspect has a faulty um, charging IC. Now, there's not many ways to test the switch unless you have proper tools, uh, which I currently don't have. Um, but what I know is, so here's the motherboard, I've already taken it apart mostly. What I know is, is that this chip right here, which does the charging IC, and apparently it does some image, so it does some sort of image processing, uh, is very, uh, or well, it's a very common fault on these boards. So they go, they go bad quite often. So um, the way I can test that is, I've got another switch with me. Um, I'm gonna, Tear that one down as well. One second, we'll be right back. So, I've got another switch here that I know is working, as you can see. Um, it's on, so it's a good sign everything works. So, I'm going to take the battery out of this one, I'm going to plug it into this board, and if we see that there's some sort of life, then I know that. Um, it's this chip that's gone bad because what the what the board will do is is that it will boot, it will actually turn on, but you won't know that it's turned on because as well as the chip doing you know the charging circuit, it also does image. So you'll get a backlight, but you won't get anything else. So I'm gonna put this back in. I'm gonna plug in the bare minimum. So I'm just gonna plug in. Pardon me. I'm just going to plug in the display, uh, the backlight cable and the power buttons and that way you know, I can also outrule any other things that may possibly be causing issues. So let's get everything plugged back in and I'll take the other switch apart. I'll also show you how to do that and hopefully um, it's just an issue with that chip because because it's been well because it's such a common issue um, obviously a lot of places repair it and there's obviously a lot of you know guides online that tell you how to do it as well so you know let's see what we do here so I'm just gonna get this out I say you get it out, put it back in. <laughs> Oops. Alright, that's alright. So let's get these cables plugged back in. So I'm just going to plug in this cable here, which does the buttons, this cable here, which is the display, and this cable here, which is the backlight. So there's only three cables I'm going to put in. And these cables are the bare minimum. So that's all we'll need. So, oh, sorry, I should have stated at the beginning what this switch doesn't do, it just doesn't show any sign of life. So, um, it's been sitting for a while, so the battery's probably completely depleted. Um, that's normal, that's okay. Um, but like I said, suspected charging fault, because obviously the battery isn't charging. Let's try and see if we can figure that out. And the only way we'll tell like I said, is if we plug it all back in, I put a battery that I know has charge, so from the other switch that I showed you earlier, and if this shows any sort of sign of life. So let's plug that in as well. Um, here we are. So that's it, that's the bare minimum. Now let's get this switch, let's get the battery out of this one. Um, because these displays are made out of plastic, I always like to lie them on a piece of paper or something. So they don't um, decide to get scratched on some, well, some debris on the, on the, uh, sorry, I'm using my words, 
on the table. So we'll remove the middle screw on these brackets, so just the screw right there, just the middle one of each side. That's the only one we need to remove. Put those aside. And I believe it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. The back should come around. So let's get that done. Any comments? No. Nothing. Okay, let's keep going. Sorry, there's eight screws because there's one underneath this thing as well. Oh, these screws fire me. Oh, these screws aren't very magnetic. That's a bit annoying. Right now, I should just be able to lift this up. Just a few more screws. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. This metal plate should now just, oh, there's one more screw in the middle, sorry. This metal plate should now just lift up. There we are. Now, I'm not even going to try and sort of, you know, remove the battery completely from the case. That just takes too much time. I'm literally just going to extend this cable from this battery. I'm going to plug it onto this board here and I'm just going to press the power button. And if we see any signs of life, we know that it is the charging I see. Off camera, so guys, bear with me. There we are. So, I'm going to turn it around, press the power button. Press the power button. 
Yes. Okay. So we have a backlight. You guys can't see that. But there is a backlight on this. Which means that the switch is technically working. Now, if I take the remote from the other switch and I dock it, um, we shouldn't get any noise because we've got the speakers in. But, um, yeah, we have backlight. So the switch is technically working. If I press the power button, it locks. If I press it again, it unlocks. Um, so yeah, that's really good news. It just means I've got to replace that chip, which is about three pounds. If you've, I mean, even less probably. And yeah, so that's great news. All right, let me put this back together. And there you go. I'll call it a day. Um, I'll repair this, this switch in a different video just because I don't have the, the chip that I need on me right now. But yeah, um, that's really good news actually, it's made my day. Very chuffed with that. Get this metal plate back on. Get everything back together. My switch still works. Hold it down a bit. Yeah, there we go. Switch still works fine. Any questions? Nope. There we go. We've got some noise. It's great. Together, and we should call it a day. There we are. Back cover goes back on. Yeah, we are pretty much done. Click everything back into place. Start with the side screws. Alright, that's it. It's pretty much done. Just gotta put these last screws back in. 
Um, so yeah, I uh, appreciate you guys watching today's episode. Uh, I know it was a bit short, but I hope it wasn't too bad. And yeah, I'll speak to you guys later. Bye bye. Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed watching, please remember to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Follow me on Instagram at Lucas underscore Lane underscore one. Follow Soapbox at Soapbox Islington. And as always, have a great day. Bye now.